Hello everyone, it is me AJ and today I'm going to be doing Tetra Tutorial. The first thing that you're going to want to do is just mine some wood, obviously. This is where we all start off. And then I'm just going to have to go down here and get some stone. We're going to make a crafting table. So then we just get stone and then boom, we can already start with Tetra. Now you can also make a hammer with, um, with oak logs, but that's a pointless step. We're just getting some epic stone. Epic stone gaming. So we're gonna start off with a plain old stone sword. This is our starting item. And we can actually make a pickaxe to go alongside that. And we'll make an axe and a shovel and a hoe. We're making all of the items. And we're gonna be using this the whole time. We got ourselves a hoe. Again, I made another hoe. You know what? We're gonna find a use for that thing. Trust me. So next, we're gonna get any metal, like even copper works. If you want to know what metals you can or cannot use, I recommend using the hose here. This is where you can learn how to use any materials. Oh, speaking of materials, I'm gonna need your bones. Give me your bones. Ow. This is true material getting right now. We're also gonna need some flint. We're gonna also get some coal too. Now we can get to some real gaming. But first, I'm probably gonna show you the hollow sphere. So the hollow sphere has all of these things. You can know how to make a boat instantly with these materials, crimson wood. You can also make it out of metals. Um, the materials for metal, these are all of them. Copper, gold, iron, and netherite. Stone, you can actually use granite and andesite for something now. Even gilded blackstone and flint. I think obsidian is the best out of these though. Diamond, emerald, those are gemstones, wood, miscellaneous. This, um, these are pretty strong metals. Might be better than netherite, but we're just going to do some basic stuff for now. And dragons is also pretty high, you know, end of game. And I scroll right there, just so you know. And I guess these are scales of fabric and bone. But most of the stuff, you're only going to have to use a little bit of it. I, am, I mainly use just a, a few select items. You're going to smelt some copper. I mean, like, why, why use iron when you have copper? Crafting table. I'm going to use our hammer, finally. Okay, so, boom. Stone shovel. Blah, blah, blah. So you can actually see your stats when you hover over these items. Carve hook. It's probably the least useful out of all of them because you're never going to really be able to backstab anything. Serrate. It only works on living bombs, so not zombies, but it's pretty good for living bombs. Temper ignores armor somewhat, so it might be better for PvP against your fellow um, friends. So the basic blade, just normal Minecraft. Blade. Heavy blade is basically this, but slower. And the swing attack, you know, like the effect, happens every single time. The machete, I think it's used for like cutting things quicker, like I guess leaves and string, and cobwebs. And the short blade, um, this I wouldn't really recommend for much, besides just clicking quickly, like 1.8 um, or something, but you can use it for cutting. So we're probably going to need a copper short blade, but of course we're going to have to go with something bigger than that. There, okay. Heavy copper blade. So as you can see, we've got a swing attack right there. The thing about metals is that they make your sword heavier. So here are the other things. A fuller. Reinforcing a fuller gives you more integrity. Integrity can be used to add more modifiers, like the serrate temper making a hook, hooked blade, that uses 
of integrity, and you need a lot of integrity for your play. I wouldn't do this usually, because it usually makes your sword really slow. Look at that speed decrease. But, sure, we'll go ahead. Look, now it's cool. We can also make a hilt out of wood and metal, which is really useful. But look at that speed. You're going to have to be really wise with what you choose. But once you have a really slow speed, you can't actually do anything with the weapon. But a counterweight actually helps for that. So the best counterweight of all of them is probably the flint counterweight. You're going to want to use this. I don't think it might be the best, but... It's really good for starters, so we're gonna put that on there. It just makes your sword quicker. And a grip loop just makes your atta um, attack range two blocks longer. So for this, the guard, you don't really need to do anything with these ones. These aren't really that useful. Actually, no, this one gives you free armor when it's in your offhand. Or main hand at that. So this would be very good for defense. You know what? I'll make that. I'm gonna spoil myself. Maybe I'll make a bone. Nah, that's way too slow. But look at that. Look at that beautiful blade. I'm not really gonna be able to do much, um, healing with this thing. It's very slow. But you can always fix that by removing a module. So if you want to have a fast sword again, you can just remove the fuller wants. I'm doing it for now because just look at that. Okay, so for axes, now, oh my god, I put the wrong table. Now tools, one of the most fun parts of this. You can do some crazy things with your tools. Okay, so here we are at the axe. What the axe can do is some crazy things, like shield breaker, of course, to break shields. Now, once you see this menu, you might get a little overwhelmed, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 options. Adzi Head is for digging and chopping wood, so it would be like a shovel axe hybrid. I don't know what the harnessing is about though. The axe, we already have that. Stripping logs, breaking shields, you know, the usual. You can make it a hammer head too, even though I, that makes it slower and not really necessary. You can make a pickaxe head, you can have a pickaxe axe. A claw can be used for prying things open. So if if you want to go half light mode, you just want to kill some head crabs with your axe crowbar, I guess. Then sure, you can go ahead and do that. We can go half life mode. Let's go half life mode. There we go. Half life all the way. We can also add a hoe here if we want, even though we're probably not going to be doing that. Um, and yeah, that's all. Also, a toolbot over here. A toolbot just makes your weapon work faster. Gordon Freeman Gaming. You know, I'm not really happy with my basic old Gordon Freeman um, Half-Life crowbar. So what I want to do here for max efficiency is for some reason add an axe head at the back and look how much better this this thing is it's just gorgeous gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i don't know why you'd want to do this i mean look it's basically a reverse axe we're gonna call it the gordon freeman crowbar for now because that's exactly what it is and now we're gonna move on to the hoe you know just a basic old hoe you just can't really do anything you know it always makes a hoe better, having something else so that you don't have to really waste your time with just one boring thing here. Like look, we're gonna get a pickaxe on the back. Now look, you can mine a wall, oh yeah, you can mine a wall, and hoe dirt too, I mean, now this is just really efficient for inventory space, just look at that. And it's pretty fast too. It's pretty efficient. Of course, maybe the durability might not be that good, but what what are you expecting? So for my wooden pickaxe, I'm not gonna do anything. It is trash. I will probably use it for fuel later. Um so the shovel is actually really interesting. We'll get to that later. But for the pickaxe, I want to do something epic. So, attack speed isn't really um, necessary for a pickaxe, so 
I'm going to make a copper handle just to boost its durability. And why not make both pickaxe heads into copper too? I mean, why not? But you know what? If I really wanted to, I could add a tool, but it does make the attack speed quicker, but it's not what I want. I want that epic mining gaming. Boom. It's a copper pickaxe. I bet you never see I bet you thought you never see the day. I've got just copper weaponry. It's surprisingly good. Maybe more cost efficient to just make copper tools. Not a joke. You might want to do that. Okay, so um, we're gonna use Gordon Freeman's epic weaponry and find some stupid spiders. So what? We're gonna um, just obliterate the zombie. Also, if you have noticed, if you haven't noticed, look, free armor. I'm getting armor right now. So we're gonna go Gordon Freeman mode. Oh wait, I have a great idea. Look at this. Now I get free armor. Gordon Freeman. You just got Gordon Freeman. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. You're gonna get Gordon Freeman. This is real Half-Life game. Oh my god, we just got a bow. I guess I'll have to show you that later too then. Um, come here, man. Come here. You're getting Gordon Freeman's. Ow. Luckily, I got my armor sword thing. Oh, yummy flesh. Oh, wait. We're gonna have to half life. We're gonna have to half life this pig. Sorry, man. In the name of Gordon Freeman, I smite you. I'm gonna also have to get you, and get you, and get you, and get you, and get you, get you, get you, get you, yes. Half life, half life, half life, half life, absolutely destroyed. You can't. You can't stand up to the half-life, man. It's it's not it's not possible. Okay, now I'm going to die. But luckily I'm smart. Just like Gordon Freeman from Half-Life. 